Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn the basic command of Python language in Jupyter Notebook. So let's start. So first we will learn how to comment. So comment is let's write hash before any sentence. So like this is a comment. Now we will show the print function. So just write print P R I N T and hello world. After running this, you can see that hello world is print. Now we will learn the uh, Yes, we can write this comments. We comment this section and you can see that it, it gives us hello world without any error. So now let's let's try that is a markdown window. And so if you use markdown window and uh, write some syntax so it will appear as uh, some kind of comment now we can show the uh, print uh, 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 integer value in print so you can see that print to is print we can see some some five five is print in print com print function so we can check float function 3.5 is written in print so print 3.5 is shown we can check some some boolean function let's write print true capital true with capital t true so true is print so just true is without any uh marks or any comment and so we can check false as well there is, is a spelling mistake after correcting you can see the false is print, printed out now we uh, check the strings or the character word just print any string value in commas there is a chair in this room so it is print out as a syntax as a string sentence now we print some some author string with single comma true so true is print as a string or as a word you can find the the type of uh, of an uh, of a variable print so type integer you can see it's type only is type so print type of integer you can see that it prints class type so class is a type so writing five is a value so class and type is uh, integer and when float it gives a float type of this class so type 5 so it gives this integer value so 5 is integer print type of 5 gives us class and integer is the type of this value and true is boolean or bool function bool type and this will give us the uh, string str and then also this will give us the string or the str type so let's check first name is some kind of string for example ali sprint first name so it will give us the value of the name of first name which is Ali integer is a variable name 5 print integer will give us this 5 number so actually there is some problem integer so int integer is equal to 5 no again uh, some error yes spelling mistake so it is spelling mistake
So let's check again. Num num one is a code with y five is a value, num two is eight point five and print num one comma num two so it will give us five and eight point four. Sum is num one plus num two. So print sum will give us the summation of someone some is a function so we will change some underscore one underscore two and some underscore one underscore will use five at one point and the summation is thirteen point point four switch is a variable name so x towards actually switch not a function use in code as switch so we will boolean function it's it we actually checking the boolean variable so print switch will give us this true value. String dot variable name comma Ahmad Khan. So by printing number is Three number is in is a string and print name comma number so Ahmad Khan three will be the answer yes print name number Ahmad three right. And we check type, type of name and type of number. So string is the number, so it's already declared. And when we check the type of number again, it is a string. So because three is in commas. So type name is string. Printing time of type of name is string. using operators on operators on number on numerical variables markdown so it appears as a description Result is zero. Result plus is equal to one. So one will add and will be added in the result. Let's check the value of result. It will show and which will be shown as one when we change result value to ten. So it will as it is shown as 11 let's comment this num1 from numeric value 1 num2 is 10 and result is num1 plus num2 we can we can do like this so the summation is 12 because result plus equal to 1 gives us 1 it add to the result when result is multiply with num1 and when we print the result it will gives us 12 so two values are printed for result with addition and result with multiplication so when we check the num2 which is equal to 10 so it, it gives us the result equal to 120.
थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम